Welcome to today's special edition of Following Jesus with Tommy. In a great location on a beautiful island in Sweden, Tommy and Karen have created the series of 10 teaching programs just for you. And today, Pastor Tommy will be teaching from his book, Life is Doing What Life Does. And the subject is, How God Can Turn Your Ordinary Life Into Something Extraordinary. And Karen will give you pearls of treasure from her latest book. And today she will tell you how important it is that you make time to look after your mental health. At the end of each program, Tommy has a special word prepared just for you. This is Following Jesus with Pastor Tommy Lilia. Tommy has dedicated his life to follow Jesus and it has given him wonderful new friendships and taken him to amazing places. Right now, you can take an extraordinary journey with Tommy as he's rescuing trafficking victims, bringing the Jews back to Israel, or crusading country after country in Africa and Asia. Your life will never be the same as you follow Jesus together with Tommy. Hi. I am Pastor Tommy, the founder and leader of Tommy Lilia Ministries. You know, I am so happy to have this opportunity to create a number of programs where my wife, Karen, and I will share some teaching with you on different subjects that we are sure will help you in everyday life. And we want you to know that wherever you are, whatever you are doing right now, for us, you are a treasure. And we love you and we are committed to help you and the body of Christ to grow all over the world in Jesus Christ. Today I will talk to you about how God can turn your ordinary life into something extraordinary. And later on in the program you will meet my wife and she has something very special for you. And at the end of the program I will tell you some secrets about the invisible dimension. So let's go to work. Let's begin. As I said, today I will talk to you about how God can turn ordinary into extraordinary. And I will be sharing with you some of the insights that God has given me about life. And these things that I have learned in life certainly didn't come easily or quickly. But as I look back on my life and how God has guided me, I know that the journey God has put me on, you know, it's been worth it both the ups and the downs. And I really believe that when you hear some of my story, it will help you to see the hand of God in your own life. Hmm. You know, life really is so unpredictable, but that is the same for all of us. None of us could have known exactly how our life would turn out. But the common denominator for all of us is that no matter what happens to us, whether we go through a crisis or a victory, or even if it's just the daily routines of everyday life, God is right there in the midst of it. And I have come to understand by way of much experience that life will do what life does, because that is what life is. And Throughout your life, the hills and the valleys, God remains the same. He is for real, and that is what He wants from you as well. I want, he wants you to be real. And I, I will share with you an example from my own life so that you can understand what I mean. Listen now. You know, I've been working with people since I was 18 years old. And that's when I got my first position as a substitute music teacher in the same school where I had been a troublemaker as a student only a few years before. And you should have heard the frantic whispering the moment I walked into the teacher's lounge. Some of my old teachers were still there and teachers I hadn't gotten along with at all. And what a reaction they had. You know, I mean, the whole situation was ridiculous, but such is life. Life gives 
and life takes. And sometimes life takes a sudden shocking turn with no prior warning. The reason why I was the one standing there in the teacher's lounge was because there was nobody else available to do it. And that is typical for life. It doesn't always have regard for what is conventional. Well, my first week as a young teacher went very well. I knew nothing about how to teach, but it turned out to my advantage that I had a class full of troublemakers. Since I already knew everything about misbehaving in school, <laughs> I was the teacher who these guys needed to get them on track. And from there, my life took a new turn, you know, a new turn again. And again, and this is so typical of life, a twist of destiny, an open door, an opportunity, divine timing that nobody could have predicted. Life is doing what life does, and that is what life is. And it's usually impossible to predict. Well, I was young then, and now I'm starting to go gray, as you can see, but what has characterized my whole adult life is that I work with people, I love people, and what motivates me is to encourage people, challenge people, restore and develop people. I, I've worked with corporations, associations, churches and business leaders. I've spent time with incredible successful people, while at the same time some of my closest friends grew up on the wrong side of society. I've met the indigenous people of Africa who are living today the way people lived thousands of years ago. But I have also met Texas oil barons who, who pay an annual fee of $100,000 for their golf club memberships. Why are you telling me this, Tommy, you might ask? Well, you know, because there is something that each of these people have in common. Even though they seem to be so different from one another on the surface, still they all have this one thing in common. And do you know what that is? They are all ordinary people. The world consists of ordinary people and God is an expert on ordinary people. It is there in our everyday lives that he meets us, no matter how life has treated us. I am ordinary, you are ordinary, and that is amazing to watch what the power of God can do in the lives of us ordinary people. It is unpredictable and it's worth every second of the journey. Don't miss the second part. Tommy will be back in a minute. And now Tommy will continue teaching from his book, Life is Doing What Life Does. Welcome back. We were talking about how the world consists of ordinary people. You, me, everybody you interact with, everybody you see on TV, we are all ordinary people. You know, if you think that the people you look up to and the people who are doing what you have dreamed of are special, then you have a set, then you have set up a boundary for yourself. Don't let yourself get stuck behind that boundary. Don't let yourself be limited. As long as you believe that what you are dreaming of is only for the special ones, then you will never live your dream. The dream you have for, for your life will always seem to be out of reach if you think it can't happen for people like you. But that is not true at all. Remember, we are all ordinary people, every single one of us, no matter whether your business card says you're a house cleaner or a president. We are ordinary people. <laughs> your life situation doesn't mean that you happen to be more or less fortunate than someone else. 
It simply means that life is happening and life is doing what life does. That is what life is. Life happens to each of us. Everyone has a life story and everyone's life story is unpredictable. But one thing that I have noticed is that the best stories, the stories that touch us the most aren't about made up people who never make mistakes or fail. What really captivates us is reality. Don't you agree? Whether the reality you hear about is a story of amazing success or incredible hardship, our human spirits are captivated by a real story. And, and, and following people's journey through life really is fascinating. I love getting to know someone by listening to their story. Not only that, but, but your story is fascinating because I know that you have experienced incredible things. And I would love to sit down with you and, and find out about your life story. Maybe not everything has been positive for you, but you must have noticed by now that life is full of ups and downs. And may maybe you have done some stupid things that you regret. But that is how life is, you know. I have been there. I have done that. I, I know, and I know how it feels. That is why it's important for us to never judge people based on individual events. We all have periods in life where we do things that are wrong, and unfortunately, we sometimes tend to judge others based on one event or a short period in that person's life instead of on the whole picture. Life happened and they made mistakes and, and everyone saw them. It's one thing to mess up in public and another thing to mess up when nobody sees you. You know about that. And the more people who know about it, the greater the shame. God, however, listen now, is different from us people. Isn't that wonderful? God has a realistic view of your life and he knows that you are going to do good and bad things. You are going to be strong sometimes and weak at others. He knows that, that your life isn't always going to be a journey along a straight path. He sees you when the door is locked and the curtains are closed. He, he sees you in your circumstances, your highs and your lows. But God has no problems with reality because God is real and only real. God can't pretend. Jesus is who he is and Jesus is never somebody else. He doesn't pour salt in the wound. He doesn't add to the shame. He doesn't demand that you live a perfect life, but what God does want is for you to be for real. Do you hear me? Because it's only based on that truth that you can build a stable life. Do you understand? So, so, so don't be pretend. Don't try to be someone else. Be for real. Do you hear me? Yes, you are an ordinary person because we are all ordinary people. And yet each of us has such an incredible story. And yet, you know, each of us has such an incredible story. For all of us, life will do what life does, because that is what life is. Life will have its heights and its lows. And life will have all in-betweens. But no matter what, God is there with you and for you in the midst of all of it.
Welcome to Sessions with Karen. From her years of experience as a professional therapist, Karen knows that inner healing is as vital as breathing if you want to live the life of joy and harmony. But who is Karen? She was born in the early 70s and started out as a hairdresser with two salons before she changed career paths and graduated as a counseling therapist. Life has really had its ups and downs, and she has had to fight to get ahead. Karen was a widow for such a long time that she thought it was God's will for her to stay single. But then, God matched her with Tommy, who was also a widower. Today, they are happily married and have four wonderful grown-up children between them. They live by the sea in southern Sweden with one major goal in life, to give the love of Jesus Christ to the world. Hi, I am Karen. I would love to share with you some of the things I have learned as a professional therapist. I want to talk to you today about how important it is to make time for your mental health. You know, talking with someone who listens and understands is a basic need that we all have. Putting your thoughts and emotions into words is one of the most natural and healing things we can do. Sharing with someone who listens helps you to see cause and effect and help us to find answers about yourself and your life. People who choose to open up to a close friend or go to therapy are those who want to grow and develop. Seeing a therapist or meeting with a friend regularly to talk and explore troubling issues is a way of taking yourself and your life seriously. The purpose of talking about your life this way is to help you become even more you, your true self. Getting to know yourself is the key to self-discovery and it is by getting to know yourself that you get to know others. No matter how difficult your life has been or how self-destructively you have lived, all your life experiences can evolve into something that is creative and life-affirming. Now I will share with you one clear sign that you do have issues that need to be dealt with and talked about. That is when your life on the outside is going fine, but you are not feeling fine on the inside. For example, you feel empty inside despite everything your life has to offer. Or you can occasionally laugh and be happy but you do not feel true joy or peace, or you have a nagging sense of worry without knowing why, or you feel down in the dumps even if your life is mostly a success. The answer to why you are feeling this way is that certain specific things are preventing you from feeling whole, happy and joyful. Healing cannot take place until you realize those specific sources of pain. It is imperative that you do not try to repress those feelings. It is so important for you to be able to access your emotions, not just switch them off when they are inconvenient. After all, we are equipped with emotions so that we can feel them. Emotions play a vital role in your lives. As a therapist, I have seen it time and time again. That escaping from your emotions will not lead to healing. You might feel better for a while, but in the long run, the feeling will just remain if it has not been dealt with. In therapy, however, you identify those feelings. You process them and you free your emotions. So many people I know have been healed this way. Therapy has allowed them to reclaim their lives. If you feel like some of the things I mentioned today describe you and your life, then let me encourage you to find someone to talk to, whether it is a close friend or a therapist. Make time for your mental health. You are worth it, and your journey begins now. Welcome back. 
Uh, and now I will switch my subject and I will talk to you about the invisible dimension. And I will start to share with you about the incredible power in the name of Jesus. Would you believe me if I told you that demons shout out in fear when I preach the name of Jesus? Or that we have seen dead people come to life when the name of Jesus is spoken over them? In, in the places we go to reach people with the gospel, we have been under attack by the forces of Satan. But we have seen those forces get totally defeated by the power in the name of Jesus. Whatever experiences someone might have in life, I can promise you that it's nothing compared to experiencing the full power of Jesus. However, the authority to cast out demons, heal the sick, and conquer territories for the kingdom of God may not come the way you want it to. But I'm guessing that you want to be effective in spiritual warfare, do you? Well then, let me tell you what God told me. It may surprise you. Remember, Paul wrote that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, those things that Paul taught about are all around us. They're real. They can see us, but we can't see them. And they have an impact on people. The fight that Paul talked about is real too. But if you want to have an impact, if you want to set people free and help them, you can't do it simply by binding spiritual powers in your prayer closet or warring in the spirit at prayer meetings. If you really want to help people get set free from spiritual powers of evil that you can't see, then you have to get out there and tell people about Jesus. <laughs> That's really how it is. You know, spiritual warfare will, will never become more real or intense than when you tell a person that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, who has come in the flesh. Now, that is what I call close combat. That is where spiritual authority starts and also where it grows. Mm -hmm. It's simply as that. Everything is created in Jesus, through Jesus and for Jesus, both the visible and the invisible. It was created for him, which means that everything at one point has been touched by Jesus. All of creation belongs to him. So, so do you know what that means? It means that when you say Jesus, then everything listens. The dimension that you can't see, the dimension that you can't see, it hears you. There's no secret other than the power in the name of Jesus. There's no prayer technique other than the name of Jesus. There's no formula for deliverance other than the name of Jesus. It's all so simple. It's all about the name of Jesus. And it's all done by grace. In my own ministry, healing, deliverance, and miracles happen all the time. We've had evangelistic crusades with or without worship, with or without prayer beforehand, with or without spiritual uh, preparations, with or without preaching. What has been the key to breakthrough at this meeting is our total focus on the name of Jesus. And it's my absolute conviction that how your life develops and what happens in your spirit, soul and body are all connected to how much room you allow Jesus inside of you. Jesus is everything. It's one thing to teach about the spiritual dimension, but it's another thing to have experienced it. It's one thing to preach about how to cast out demons. It's another thing to have done it. When we call on Jesus, he is there. When we exalt him, he is on the throne of our praise. When we believe that he is who he is, we allow him to act in the dimension around us that we can't see.
When we pray in his name, he backs us up in prayer. When we command in his name, he gives his name authority. When we say, Jesus, you are my friend, then he is by our side. When we fail, he helps us to get up again. And I am here to tell you that you are destined for the spiritual power found only in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you want to know more about the invisible dimension? In his new book, The Invisible Dimension, Pastor Tommy draws from his experience of over 25 years of ministry to explain how the spiritual realm operates. He explains how invisible forces enter our world and how these spiritual forces can affect our lives and even how we think and act. In an honest way, Tommy shares from when he crossed over to the invisible dimension and got the shocking revelation that they can see us, but we can't see them. But he also shows you clearly how to set yourself and the people around you free and how to live in victory. Tommy is making his latest book available to you for the special price of 12 pounds. Order online at www.tommylilia.org.